Right, plug lies in a bunker. And really there's basically two ways to play this shot. Most people close the face, hit down hard, take an awful lot of sand, the sand's moving forward, it carries the ball forward, and it has a lot of release on it when it hits the ground. This is the safest way to play plug lies. So really most people close the club face, get the leading edge digging, so this time a dig will actually work, but you lose total control. And I'm gonna demonstrate that really quite markedly, that the ball will actually release, and it's really a closed club face, and steep, as steep as you can, take as much sand as you can and hit it, but that ball just releases very quickly. The reason it releases is because you're pressing the sand forward, the ball's carried on the forward momentum of the sand, and it releases. So if you've got a lot of room to work with, very easy shot to play and very effective. If you've not got a lot of room to play and you have to get the ball close, there is another way, but it's actually a very specialist way. Okay. Right, and I'm going to show you another way to play a plug lie if you have to land it softly and get it to land softly. And obviously, get a lot more control but it is a high tariff shot so if you haven't practiced it a lot I probably wouldn't try it I'd probably use the first one and go for a 20 foot putt back to try and hold your par but if you have to and you'll see a lot of the really really good bunker players play this shot occasionally now when it's plugged what you really need to do is cut the sand and most people obviously close the club face it takes the bounce off leading edge cuts great it'll actually get the ball out now then, the sharpest part of your club is in your heel, the heel of the club there, right at the heel. That's a real sharp part. And what good players will do, if they need to land it soft out of a plug lie, they will start using the heel today. So this time I'm going to lower my hands so the heel is actually going to reach the sand first. It's going to cut the sand. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to try and hold the sand on the face as long as possible so that the actual cushion of the sand under the ball elevates the ball. So that will look something like this. My butterfly grip here, and I'm gonna what we call heel cut and hold it. So I go really steep, dig, and it comes out really quite soft and it won't run away from you. There is a third option, but don't try this one in tournaments you better really experiment in your practice bunker first again slightly open this time not way open slightly open a little bit of heel dig and for the real soft one what's going to happen i'm going to dig and then i'm going to just take the pressure from my arms i'm just going to lift my arms a little bit as i dig i'm going to lift my arms a little bit and make it come out really really soft and really soft soft arms take the pressure off the shot all three shots, especially the first one when, where you actually toe in and, and de-loft. Again, you're, you're hitting not the ball, you're hitting underneath the sand. Um, you're, 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 you're stopping your follow through. Yeah. Okay, your follow through is force in this shot. And you, you gotta hit down, you're, you're reducing the bounce when you toe it down, okay, so you can dig. And that's, that's the safest shot. And if you stop your, your follow through, you won't have so much force. It'll pop up and, and run out. Probably, and like Peter said, you don't have much control, okay? But you'll get it out. And that's your safest shot. The others are still abbreviated follow throughs. Absolutely. Because that's cut and that, hold, yeah. Cut and hold. And, that, and that's force. Again, those, uh, a, lot of, a lot of wedges, and we have them too, that have a, the relief on the heel. So you, you reduce the bounce, and when Peter's opening it up so much and using that, this little section right in here, and especially like this wedge right here, it's, it's reducing the, the heel, which allows the leading edge to dig and get underneath that golf ball. So that enables that shot when you have a relief of yeah. it. And we have that in our C grind in a number of our wedges.